Our daily Bible reading and devotional for March 20th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. Luke, chapter 2, will begin reading in verse 41 through 52. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey. But then they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, searching for him. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying that he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was submissive to them. And his mother treasured up all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Some thoughts on our passage today. Caring for children is more than just putting food on the table and clothes on their backs. Bringing children into the world is a serious undertaking. One person I know would go out of her way to correct those who would use the term raise in respect to child care. She would say the correct term is rearing. Raising is what we do to farm animals. Rearing is what we do to children. There's a great deal of truth in that statement. We find that Jesus' parents would make a yearly trip to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. No easy undertaking given the distance they had to travel. A journey that no doubt would take weeks, not days to make, when you consider the round trip. But for those who value the commandments of God, no task is to be taken lightly when considering their faith. Caring for children's spiritual well-being should be utmost to vigilant parents. It should not seem as though the ideals and values taught to a child should be a burden, for in these the greatest of dividends can be expected when they become grown. Many a mother has become weary and worn out while taking her children to worship and Bible studies. It is an all too common occurrence these days. Many have simply given up. Yet it is that perseverance in the face of adversity that children see and respond to. We may not appreciate the efforts to which we must go to ensure our children's well-being, but rest assured they will not go unrewarded. When Jesus begins his ministry, one of the first events recorded is his visit to the synagogue. We read in Luke chapter 4 and verse 16, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as was his custom, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read. Notice, it was his custom. It should not escape our attention. We may undergo criticism for our faith, but you will often find that people respect those who make it a custom to attend worship services. Children may not appreciate all that parents have done for them to bring about a spiritual life. They may even become rebellious for a time. However, many times that same child will remember the due diligence that a mother and father put forth in their early years and act upon it. A question of the day. Have you made the commitment to follow through with all it takes to influence your children or grandchildren now, or the children and grandchildren you may have in the future? And finally, a thought to meditate on this day. If you have children, would you be proud of them if they imitated your faith? And those are our thoughts for today, March 20th.